Mike Eckler must be one of the most interesting coaches I have looked into since I started this YouTube journey a year and a half ago. Eckler owned a piranha in high school and once attempted a marathon on his own to motivate his players. But who is Mike Eckler? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up and coming collegiate pro athletes. If there's a player or coach you want to see in future episodes, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. I came across an article on The Athletic that talked about some crazy stories involving Mike Eckler, who has to be one of the most interesting coaches I have ever researched. His diet consists of organic food, except for Red Bull, and he usually gets 4 hours of sleep a night, but is always a high energy guy. He told The Athletic, too many people in our profession, everything is gloom and doom, high pressure, and I enjoy the process, and I want them to enjoy it too. And that's how he basically lives his life. Eckler was born on October 4, 1971 and grew up in David City, Nebraska. In high school, Eckler purchased a piranha at a local pet store and named him Carl Lipbaum Sackler in honor of Bill Murray's character in Caddyshack. Eckler told The Athletic, he was awesome man, he was big, he was probably a pound and a half. Carl consumed almost two dozen goldfish a day, cornering them in the tank and attacking them. Throughout college, Eckler would bring friends over to witness the live feeding. In 1988, Eckler played a key role in Blair High School's Class B State Championship as a junior, playing wide receiver and linebacker. Eckler attended Kansas State where he would play under Bill Snyder. Eckler would go on to become a special team standout serving as the wedge buster when teams were allowed to run wedges in college football. His main job was to sprint down the field and throw his body into the wedge to take out as many blockers as possible and open up holes for his teammate. Eckler told The Athletic, It was my way as a freshman to get on the field, and I love special teams. Because you're talking about high-speed collisions, train wrecks, that's kind of my personality. He also earned the nickname Crash. Eckler would also play linebacker for Snyder and went on to become a team captain as a senior. During Fan Appreciation Day, Eckler was one of the players chosen to talk to the fans to raise excitement for the season, and instead, he launched into Bill Murray's extended monologue from Caddyshack, and when he was supposed to pump the students up at a student pep rally the next day, he performed an unauthorized Bob Nelson skit, confusing the crowd. After that, Eckler was banned from speaking to the media. During Kansas State's 1994 spring game, Eckler put his head through a plywood advertisement at the stadium, only scraping his neck, but spawned an idea. For every game, Eckler would put his head through a different sign each game. Eckler told The Athletic, So the first game I came sprinting out to the 50, I think the whole stadium had bets on which sign I was going to be taking out. It was crazy. They had chosen a Pepsi sign that looked like a bullseye. Eckler sprinted 70 yards and dived into the sign. The issue was he slightly missed his mark, slamming his head into the metal rail that backed the sign. The resulting collision took a chunk out of his helmet and shoved it down onto his nose, breaking the bone and causing blood to go down his chin. According to Eckler, he suffered two stingers and went out on the field covered in blood for the opening kickoff. He runs down the field and gets blown up and that's the last time they would attempt that stunt. Snyder would give Eckler one last chance to talk to the media before his last game and Eckler would make Snyder regret it. A Boston Globe reporter asked Eckler to tell him something about Snyder most people didn't know. According to The Athletic, Eckler compared Snyder to Sergeant Holka and told the reporter, the fact of the matter is, the man's a party animal, Eckler said, launching into a Murray monologue from Stripes. Chicks dig him, because he rarely wears underwear, and when he does, it's usually something unusual. The next day during the team meal, Snyder's wife approached him asking, hey Mike, where's the party animal you speak about? Eckler finished the season being named the nation's special teams player of the year by George Michael Sports Machine. After graduating from Kansas State, Eckler spent seven years in private business, owning a sales company based in Omaha. He got his start in coaching, serving as a volunteer assistant at Omaha Scott High School from 1999 to 2001. The following season, Eckler served as the assistant coach at Manhattan, Kansas High School, before moving into the college football game. Eckler spent the 2003 and 2004 season as a defensive graduate assistant at Oklahoma on coach Bob Stoop's staff. In both of his seasons at OU, the Sooners participated in the national championship game and the Sooners posted a combined record of 24-3. In 2004, Eckler worked alongside Bo Pelini and served as the Sooners co-defensive coordinator in OU's Big 12 title season. In 2005, Eckler would take a job at LSU and would quickly impress. LSU had a pegboard where players could grab a pair of pegs and climb as high as their upper body strength would take them. Eckler entered the weight room one day when several players were trying and failing to scale the wall under the supervision of strength coach Tommy Moffitt. Eckler exclaimed, That's easy, I could do that right now, while the strength coach rolled his eyes. In street clothes, without warming up or doing anything, he scaled the wall in record time, shattering Craig Stelzer's 
program record and proceeding to do 10 pull-ups at the top. LSU finished in the top 10 nationally in 2005 in all four major defensive categories and allowed less than 270 yards per contest. A pair of Tigers defensive tackles, Kyle Williams and Claude Roten, each earned first-team All-American accolades. In 2006, the LSU defense surrendered just 242.8 yards per game, the fewest by a Tigers team since 1976. LSU led the SEC in six defensive categories and ranked in the top five nationally in four major categories. Tigers defender Glenn Dorsey and Leron Landry each earned first-team All-American honors. In 2007, LSU won the BCS National Championship, and Eckler would take the linebacker coaching position at Nebraska. As Nebraska's linebacker coach, he played a key role in developing some of the nation's most successful defenses. In 2009, the Cornhuskers led the country in scoring defense and pass efficiency defense, while ranking 7th in total defense and 8th in rushing defense. One Friday in 2010, Nebraska was having a terrible practice, so Eckler sent a message to his linebackers to motivate them. According to Husker Extra, Eckler said, Hey guys, listen, my family's out of town. They're in St. Louis. I've got nothing to do the rest of the day. All I want for us is to have the greatest practice in history of the University of Nebraska, and then I'm going to run a marathon. This was not an official marathon, as the Nebraska football staff members dropped him off on Interstate 80, about 27 miles from Memorial Stadium. In 90 degree weather, Eckler proceeded to run 21 miles. Eckler would be stopped by a police officer who said he couldn't let Eckler finish because it was illegal to run on the interstate and he would lose his job. In 2010, Nebraska was 5th nationally in passer defense, 9th in scoring defense, and 11th in total defense. Eckler has also spent time with Indiana from 2011 to 2012, USC in 2013, Georgia in 2014 to 2015, North Texas in 2016, North Carolina from 2017 to 2018, Kansas in 2019, serving as a linebacker coach, defensive coordinator, and special teams coach. Now, he will be coaching at Tennessee, serving as a linebacker coach and special team coordinator under Josh Heupel. Eckler is excited to work with Heupel, telling The Athletic, you gotta have fun. You gotta whistle while you work. This should be the most fun four years of these guys' lives. That's why I love working with coach Josh Heupel, because Hype's the same way. Whether you love Mike Eckler or you hate him, the guy is one of the most interesting coaches in college football. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out my other videos in the Who Is series. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.